Hey guys, I'm Aaron. Welcome to the channel. If you're new, I am starting a new series on a home theater build. So I wanted to make an introductory video that includes the installation of my left, right, and center channel speakers. This is my basement and this is going to be the home theater. This wall right here in the front will have the screen. This is the right wall. This is the back of the room where I have my networking and components rack and all of the wiring runs back here uh, to this closet. We have pre-wire for our projector up here. Uh, this is the rear wall, of course, again, and this is the left wall. So this is what it looks like right now. Eventually, I'm going to be building some soffits and uh, other little surprises. But right now, we just have some canned lights in the room. I decided on these Klipsch Reference R5800W2 in-wall speakers for my LCRs, or left, center, right. And this is shop dog, Millie, if you haven't met her yet. So I'll be building in... AT screen or acoustically transparent so that the center speaker will be behind the screen. You can see the uh, outer four dots are the uh, screen dimensions. It is a 140 inch diagonal screen and uh, all the little marks along the middle are uh, studs. So I just kind of taped out where the speakers are going to be. And I just have this chair sitting in the middle of the room kind of uh, to help me for reference on things. Uh, it is about four feet from the ground to my ears sitting in this chair. Of course, the chairs that I eventually have might be a little bit lower. So I'm going to have, um, I believe, a row of four recliners here. Then I'm going to be building a little platform that is uh, about 16 inches to put the second row on uh, that riser and I also pre-wired here so that uh, 16 inches will land between these two outlets so that one outlet will be below the riser so that I can power everything on the riser and uh, the other outlets around here are higher so that they will be above the riser I'll have steps up to the riser and that means I'll have steps down into this room and I'm going to be uh, building a barn door eventually that slides over this way to allow access in there. So that's kind of the overall general plan that I have so far. I also started a thread on AVS forum. I'll put a link to that in the description below. It's called Help Me DIY's Theater Build, I believe, something original like that. Oh, and I guess I should mention, obviously, I have uh, pre-wires in these areas for these speakers. I also have a uh, pre-wire up here and up here somewhere for Atmos height speakers. Uh, I have a right and left pre-wires over here. And up here, I have uh, another two in the ceiling for more Atmos height. And we pre-wired uh, kind of over here and over here for the rear speakers. And in the corners uh, right there and right here, we have an outlet and coax cables for sub uh, powered subwoofers. The screen here, uh, this is going to be the bottom of the screen that I measured two feet from the floor. It seems kind of low. There's going to be a much bigger gap on top, but uh, it seemed to make more sense just to lower the screen instead of building a riser for the front row to get the front row higher. So uh, it should all shake out about the same. And behind this wall, I will show you a picture so you can kind of see what it looks like back there. The bottom half is block and the uh, top half is a bigger space where some of my duct work is being run. You can see some of the pre-wiring in there. These studs are 12 inches apart. So these speakers have really good reviews. I got them on Amazon for 250 bucks. So uh, 250 bucks each. So let me just take it apart. Um, one of the cool things with these is it has a front plate that is uh, looks like this and it is just magnetic so just uh, sticks right onto the front of the speaker and this is paintable 
So I will be painting it uh, this color, which is a Sherwin-Williams iron ore. And uh, this is what the speakers look like. They are very pretty, like uh, most clips. You got a copper-colored uh, cone in here. So a uh, very beautiful speaker. I could even leave it like that, bare, uh, just to have it uh, have a little decoration in here. But it is very thin. It has some little dog ears on here that clamp onto the drywall. That's what holds this thing in place. Little board on the back of it that has our uh, speaker wire connections. So here's the front screw that you turn. So as you can see, when you start uh, turning the screw clockwise to tighten it, it is gonna rotate this little dog leg up and then it will become loose and it can't go up any higher. And as you keep tightening, it will clamp that down onto your drywall, lock it in place right here. And this nicely labeled piece of cardboard in here is the template. So put that up on the wall and that's uh, what we're gonna trace around and cut out. So once you decide uh, where you're gonna hang it between the studs, make sure of course you mark the exact center of the studs so that you can center your template right between them so that the dog ears are not too close to a stud and hit it and interfere with the mounting. So I'm going to start with the center speaker because that one is going to be behind my screen. And if I screw up anything, it's not really going to show. I'm just measuring the bottom of the speaker to be four feet from the ground. So that way it's just going to be barely above ear level while I'm sitting in the front row. So that way it kind of compensates a little bit for the uh, back row as well because they're going to be 16 inches taller. And of course, this is the very important time to level this. So I want to make all of my adjustments now. Okay, we got it nice and level. Now I'm just gonna trace all the way around it. All right, you can see the pencil line where I uh, drew this. Now I just have a drywall saw that I will proceed to jam into my nice Pretty wall. Yeah, this will make a big mess. So, just cut this out. Okay. So, remove the panel, and you probably have insulation back there. Okay, so you can see that I am really close to the stud on this side uh, because this stud they actually put in this way instead of this way. So it's a lot wider than our normal studs. Uh, so this stud is run the correct way. So what I should be doing with some gloves, I'm gonna get gloves and I'm just gonna uh, kind of Cut a, rip a seam in the middle of this and just push the insulation over the sides. So after just pushing it out of the way, you can still see the dust floating around on the camera. Uh, I also found my cable that they pre-wired. So hopefully they stapled it into the wall loosely for you so that you can pull it out. All right, so this is my four wire speaker cable that I'm gonna be using two wires of. I just cut off some of the sheathing and I'm just gonna use two of the four wires. I'm gonna go ahead and use the black and red since that's the standard stereo color. After I have the wire stripped, I want to go ahead and test it to see which wire it is so I can hook up the correct speaker to the wire on the other end to my receiver. So I just got one of these uh, things right here. This thing is a tone and continuity tester. So I have this thing set to tone and I have it hooked up to uh, my black wire on here with my black lead. So what that is doing is it is transmitting a tone through the wire and you have uh, this thing that you can turn on and when it detects that tone, turn it up so you can hear it. So when it gets close to the wire, it lets you know. So I can walk it 
over here to where all of the wires come out of my wall because I have to figure out which one it is so I can just uh, place it near them. All right, and this one is near this one. So that's how you can track which wire is which. Just press those down, stuck them in to attach them. And now just gonna pop this in the wall and tighten the four screws. One, two, three, and four. All right, so it just uh, pressed right into the template. It's a perfect fit. Just push it down flush. So once I start turning, I can feel it turning that dog ear. And that should be tightening it down. With this one I counted 36 twists and then you can feel it uh, actually have a lot of tension. So that's when you know it's done. Just make sure it's all the way pressed on against the wall. And for me, I'm not able to turn that one at the bottom. Once you start turning it, uh, it gets tight really fast. So I can tell that the dog leg is getting caught against the two by four, not releasing all the way to allow it to tighten. So in my situation, I'm gonna have to cut out from behind here a little piece of that two by four, cut it out to give me enough room for that dog ear. So I held the speaker up and I just marked on the two by four, the areas that it was interfering with the little dog ear. So I'm gonna use this guy and uh, just cut the little section out. Started by just cutting a couple notches. I'm gonna use a hammer and chisel to chisel some of that out. So in case I wasn't clear, I'm not cutting all the way through the two by four. I'm just cutting a chunk of it out like that. So ideally you get it all grooved out like that without damaging the integrity of your drywall. Oh yeah. All right, so one down, a whole bunch more to go. And again, the covers for these are magnetic. So you just uh, kind of line up the bottom. Drop it on and they uh, magnetically snap into place. So the one that's gonna be behind the screen, I don't really care about, but uh, the two that are be outside the screen, of course, I'm going to paint uh, the same wall color to blend in, but I guess I'll go ahead and paint this one too, just so it does not show through the screen at all. All right, my left center and right speakers are now installed. Thanks for watching guys. And for all you OCD guys that noticed that my center one was uh, a little bit crooked, I fixed it. So don't worry about that. Hopefully you guys found this interesting. If you want to see the rest of the theater build, please subscribe to the channel and follow along. Click the little bell notification if you want to be notified when new episodes come out. Also feel free to give me suggestions in the comments below or over on AVS forum. You can uh, discuss things there a little easier than on YouTube. So. Thanks again for watching. I'll see you on the next episode.